Hello, I'm Rachel from carpart.com and today I'll show you an overview of Checkmate's inventory tool. Not only can you add vehicle records and loose parts in the inventory tool, but it's also simple and straightforward to maintain inventory information. You can open the inventory tool in Checkmate Workstation by clicking the clipboard button at the top of the window. In the inventory tool, there are three main things you can do. First, you can maintain your inventory. You can review, edit, or remove parts. Second, you can add vehicle records or lose parts. And third, you can pull up resolution parts to assign interchange. First, I'll show you how you can maintain your inventory by reviewing, editing, or removing parts. You'll start by doing a search for parts or vehicles using the fields at the top of the tab. And you can search by stock number, part type, year, model, interchange number, and the rest of the things that you see here. For example, you can search for all your engines that have been in stock for over two years by selecting engine as the part type, and then in the days in stock field, put greater than 720. Once you type in your search criteria, you'll click the magnifying glass to search. And keep in mind that the larger your inventory and the broader your search, the longer the search will take. So if a search is taking too long, you can always click the X button to cancel the search and start over. Now your search results display in the main part of the tab with lots of information available for each part. And just like in Sales Pro, you can right click on any column header to choose which columns you want to display, and you can drag and drop to reorder the columns. If you're working with a large number of parts, don't forget you can use the filters at the top here to sort and drill down to a specific set of parts. Then here at the bottom of the screen, you'll see statistics for whatever part is currently highlighted in your search results, and you can click the blue arrow here to open and close the image tray. One thing that's nice about this tab is you can do a certain amount of editing without even leaving your search results. All the items that have a green label here at the top are ones that you can edit right on this tab. To edit just one part, you can click your mouse on a field and either select or type in your edit, or you can change multiple parts at a time by using these checkboxes on the left to select the parts you want to edit, then click an edit button at the top of whatever field you want to edit. For example, if you want to reduce all of these retail prices by 10%, You'd click the All checkbox to select all of these parts, click Edit on the Retail Price field, and then enter negative 10%. And now you can see that all those prices have been reduced. One thing to remember is whenever you edit anything in the inventory tool, no changes are permanent until you click the Save button. If you want to do some more in-depth editing on a particular part or on a vehicle record, just click to highlight the line and then click the edit button. This opens a screen to edit that specific part or vehicle, which we'll talk more about in a few minutes. When you've made your changes and clicked save, it brings you right back here to your search results. There are a couple other things you can do from here. You can print a snapshot of your screen, you can print part tags, you can see additional info for whatever part is currently highlighted, you can send the selected parts to Photomate to have images taken, and you can use this button here to delete the selected parts from your inventory. Okay, the next thing we'll look at is adding a vehicle record to your inventory. When you do this, you're adding the AUT record for the vehicle, but you're not adding the individual parts. To add a vehicle, just click the vehicle button with the plus sign right here. This opens the Vehicle tab, which is where you'll put in all of the information about the vehicle. Any field with a green label is a required field. So start on the top left here to put in the stock number, VIN, year, and model, and then just continue entering any other information. In the bottom of the screen here on the General tab, you'll need to designate the vehicle's damage, colors, and type in a vehicle description. Then you've got several more tabs here to add title info, notes, and vehicle images. When you're finished putting the info in, click Save, and that adds the vehicle to your inventory. 
Remember, this just inventoried the vehicle, not the individual parts. To inventory individual parts, we recommend that you open Partmate and use the Pull from Checkmate button to pull in the vehicle from Checkmate. So I just showed you how to add a vehicle record, but you can also edit existing vehicles. You can search for any vehicle in your system on the Find tab and pull it back up for editing. Just do a search for the AUT on the Find tab, highlight the line, and click the Edit button to come back to this screen. At that point, you can edit information and you'll also be able to see details about part sales on the History tab right here, and you can see sales totals for the vehicle over here. Adding a loose part to your inventory is pretty similar. Start by clicking this button right here with a plus sign, and that opens up the Part tab. And just like adding a vehicle, start at the top left and work your way down. If you put in an existing stock number, some info will load automatically from the vehicle record. Then put in the part type, interchange, description, and the other info for the part. One thing I want to point out here in the bottom of the screen is the price book tab. This is where you can look at and edit the price book for the interchange option that's selected for the part. Then over here in the part inventory section, you can even edit pricing for existing inventory you have that shares the same interchange number. And then you have these other tabs to add notes, images, and ARA damage for body parts. And again, when you're done adding the info, click save to add the part to your inventory. So that's how you add a loose part, but you will also see this part tab when you're editing parts. Earlier I told you that to do more in-depth editing on a part, you'd highlight the line and click the edit button. That opens up this screen where you can edit the part details. You'll also be able to see the editing history for the part on the history tab. And just remember to hit save when you're done. The last thing I wanna show you is how to review your resolution parts. These are parts that need to have an interchange number assigned. And it's easy to find all your resolution parts with this handy button right here. When you click it, it shows all of the resolution parts that you currently have in your inventory. You can also use these fields here to limit your search to only specific resolution parts. For example, if you only want to see your steering wheels that are in resolution, you'll put steering wheel in the part field before you click the resolution parts button. Once your resolution parts display, it's easy to assign interchange. Just click the question mark button in the interchange column, click to check the correct option, and then save your changes. And it is important to go through your resolution parts regularly, especially after each interchange release or after you upgrade to CarPart Interchange Plus. That's it for now. If you have any questions about the inventory tool, please contact your support rep directly or you're welcome to call our main office at 859-344-1925. If you'd like more training, then please check out our website at products.carpart.com.